Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Gant versus Bryant. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Gant, you say Ms. Bryant showed up to your son Darnell's memorial service four years ago claiming that her son Zion was Darnell's biological child. You have since formed a bond with Zion, but have strong doubt your deceased son is the father. You are here. Desperate for answers, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Bryant, you say the deceased was the love of your life and you want nothing more than to have your son carry his father's name. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Gant, you say your son's death has left you with unanswered questions. I have been tormented by my son's death for nearly five years now. At the time of his death, we had become estranged because we had a big argument. We weren't speaking. And I didn't know that he had been arrested, that he'd gotten sick. He had passed away and had been buried. It was five months before oh I learned any of this. And now there's this little boy who I have come to love who calls me Gwanny. And I just need to make sure that he is indeed my grandson and a piece of Darnell left here on earth for me to love. Miss Bryant. Yes, Your Honor. And so you truly believe Darnell is Zion's biological father? Yes, Your Honor. Explain. Well, Darnell was the love of my life. Um, we, um, we had a rocky relationship, but we really loved each other. And um, at the time, that was the only person I was sleeping with, and... But, Your Honor, I know that their relationship was, was toxic because they argued a lot, they fought a lot. I just didn't want... I didn't think they were good together. Yes, Your Honor. Um, I, me and Darnell did have a r r uh, rocky relationship, but we really loved each other. Like, every argument, like, we give each other space and time to think about it, and we always come back and, re you know... Uh, when you say rocky relationship, does that mean you were committed and would break up, or were you ever in a committed relationship? We was in a committed relationship, um, but he did his thing, but I never cheated on him because I always... We had this daughter together, our older child, and I someday wanted us to be a, you know, a family, so... And so tell me what happens when you found out you were pregnant with Zion. Um, I found out I was pregnant. Um, I didn't know he had passed away. During my pregnancy, I had to go through it alone because I, I, I didn't know that I would never see him again. The last time I seen Darnell is when I told him that I was pregnant and he said he knew. That was the last time I seen Darnell. And he said he knew? He knew. And then when I... I understand. I know it's hard. And when I found out he was deceased, I was about to have my C-session. And it's a, um, a health department across the street from the hospital. I had to go to the health department to get a death certificate. That's when I knew that he had passed away. How did you find out he had passed away? Um, child support had sent me a letter saying that he was deceased. So but I you called... didn't tell me any of this. I didn't... You didn't tell me any of this. You didn't know... I didn't know that you knew Darnell was I dead. didn't. I tried to get in contact with her daughter. But you just said you got, I got in, I got in contact so with her daughter. I got in contact with her daughter. So you knew he was dead before I, got I did. In, I got in contact with her daughter on Facebook. The day that I found out, I got on, con on Facebook and I mentioned her. I, I don't have want, social media, so I I just want to understand, Ms. Bryant. Yes. How did you find out that Darnell had passed From away. From child support. So you got a letter? Yes, that was like a month before I was about to give what birth. What did the letter say? The letter a said that he was deceased. A month before you gave birth would have been March. I didn't learn until April that he was dead. How I can I get... I did not it? get... I didn't even get a copy of his death certificate. How can I the get... The first it? time I saw it, she had it. Which Your means Honor. she already knew that he was dead... She didn't let my daughter know. She didn't Your let Honor. me know. Your Honor. 
Wait, hold on. I want to understand this. Were you not speaking? D did you even know she was pregnant? I no. didn't know she was pregnant. And, and that's another thing, Your Honor. If she was having another child by my son, why wouldn't she let me know? She Your knows. Your Honor. I love, I love my granddaughter. And I would do for them just like I do now. I do for both children. All right. Continue. I had an opportunity to bond with Zion. And I love that little boy with all my heart. Anna. I just need to know for sure that he's a piece of Darnell left here on Earth. Your Honor, I'm not here love. to argue. I'm here to just get my son his father's last name. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Why didn't you reach out to tell Miss Gant I'm pregnant. Why, why, why didn't she know? Why was this a secret? It wasn't a secret. I had things going on with me. I thought Darnell was coming back to tear his own family. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know. But I know without a shadow of my doubt, uh, doubt in my heart that this is this man's son. And I hope that, that and he I know, is and his I, son, I'm not here to argue I really do. Can't. And it doesn't matter. Let me, let me say this. Matter. And it actually, you know this. I love Zion. I'm grandma to Zion, and Zion needs a granny, and he has one. And so, Ms. Gant, Ms. Gant, I, I need to know when you found out <laughs> Zion was born. When did you find that out? I didn't know Zion was born until Ashley came to the house while we were planning Darnell's memorial service. But when Ashley showed up to the house, she had this little newborn. And I'm like, Ashley, you know, and she told me this is Darnell's son. And she's telling me this is my grandson. And I'm just in shock. I don't know what to think. But when I looked at him, I didn't see Darnell. And then I'm like, I started counting because I just found out from the information my daughter had gathered what happened, the course of events leading to my son's death. And so you started counting what, the dates? The dates. And you didn't believe those dates matched up? They didn't match up. He was arrested in August. And I, con I conceived in June or July. But, but he was so born in April. As and August to April so is nine months. So Ms. Bryant, I do want to understand from you. Yes. So for nine months, you're pregnant and you just don't reach out at all. What was your delay? What was your reason I why you weren't going coming? on and I didn't know that he wasn't coming back. But my son was gone and, and you knew. I that didn't know. A, How a did I know? When on. I knew, I told you and your daughter. You didn't told tell me daughter. anything. The I, police I'm told me to what happened to my Please, son. Please, I'm not here to argue with you. I'm not arguing, okay, but, okay, Ashley, even, but what even, you're even saying even doesn't still. make sense. If you didn't know for two weeks you had the death certificate, and you didn't know he had passed away, any mother's logical question is, is and I why didn't you find that. me? And I just, want, I just want her to know. That's why I'm here. I'm here for her to reassure her because I know who my baby father is. I'm here for her, not me. I'm here for Zion. I'm here for Darnell. I'm not here to argue with nobody. I'm here for my Actually, son. This is where she is for her. It's not an argument, but I have questions. And, we, that's and why I we feel here. like I and have so, the right that's why to we here. Ms. Bryant, during the time that you and Darnell were off again and on again, yes. and back and in and yes. out, yes. were you seeing anybody No, else? I was not, Your Honor. So that entire time, you never had a sexual relationship with anybody No, else. I did not, Your Honor. There were people in the neighborhood he, uh, that said that she was messing around with other guys in the neighborhood. <laughs> that that was one of the reasons that caused their final that, breakup. And they outsiders. told you she had been having sex or having a relationship with somebody else. Yes, because he was already in another relationship with another young woman. I thought they were done. I didn't know that they but were he still, still was sleeping with me. together. And I didn't know that. You didn't want me around, As so far, he had... No, he I didn't want you around, but I wanted the girl. baby around. Because of you. So he had... No, it wasn't because okay, of me. It was okay. because it of you. It wasn't because of you. That was the only no, reason why he was he in had, relationship, he because had you wouldn't want me around. 
And so, Ms. Gant, I yes. want to ask you. You say you have a relationship with Zion. I do. You say you love this little boy. I do. And it is... Is it your hope to continue that relationship? Yes, I'm going to continue that relationship. That is my Z-Mac. I love him. And I'm his granny, and I'm going to be his granny regardless. This is just a piece of information that I need to put this to rest. And but I do have to I ask will. you, if, in fact, it is determined that he is not your biological grandson. Have you prepared yourself for that? Have you thought about that? I have, but the love I have for this little boy is greater than that. Because regardless, he's going to need me and I'm going to need him. This is a piece of information that I need for my sanity. I didn't even realize that I still have the wounds that I have from my son's death. And I do, too. Your Honor, that's He'll why I'm He'll never know. There's too many nevers in this situation. This little boy will never have his dad. My son never knew. It's time to put the nevers to bed and move on. Well, we are just about ready to go to the results, but I want to say this. You would not have come here today if the issue of paternity the issue of biology was not important to you. Exactly. And while I appreciate and, and, and truly admire the fact that you've committed yourself to be Zion's grandmother, whether the result is, is in your favor or not, I do not want to underestimate the importance of determining this and the fact that if this was something you could just sweep under the rug and you didn't care about you would just have never come. Exactly. So it is important. So I do not want to have you come all of this way and only to say it doesn't matter. Because the do. truth is, it does. It does. It does. And your hopes today, Ms. Bryant, what are your hopes? To have Zion to have his, his father's last name, which is Harvey. And you couldn't give him that last name? I could not. Even with the death certificate um, at hand, they still wouldn't let me do it. And so you would like Zion to have his father's last name? Yes. I will. And I want that as well. You I know. would. Okay. That's why I'm here. She here for her son. I'm here for my eyes. I'm here for all of us. This is, this is painful for all of us. All of us. Yes, it is. And... I think I've heard sufficient testimony and I'm ready to get the results. I'm ready to, Hello? Your Honor. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased, Darnell Harvey, we performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, Eleanor Gant. With that being said, the results determine if there is a viable relationship between the child, Zion Bryant, and Eleanor Gant. In the case of Gant versus Bryant, when it comes to four-year-old Zion Bryant, it has been determined by this court. The percentage of relatedness between Eleanor Gant and four-year-old Zion Bryant is 98.6% you are related. I told you, I told you, I told you. Because <laughs> I had to know for no. sure. I love you. I love you too, baby. Feels good to know for yes, sure. Yes, because when I had Zion, it was like I was there by myself through the C session. It was like light came over me and I knew it was done hell. I knew, I knew. I, I didn't have sex with nobody else besides Darnell. We know and we can move on. And, and I just thank you. And I thank this court for the work that you do. And I can rest. And I know that and my can son I say can one rest thing to Ms. Gant? 
I apologize and I didn't tell you sooner. But I Baby, was scared okay. because I thought he was coming back. We all did. We all did. And that's fine. I forgive you. And we just have two beautiful babies that we have to work together yes. to give them the best life that we can. Yes. <laughs> that's exactly right. And that's why this court exists, <laughs> to give children the opportunity to know their father and in the tragic instances where their father is no longer on this earth, to give them the opportunity to know their father's family. And most importantly, they can grow up with the spirit of their father surrounding them because they will need it. Yes. We have counseling and resources for you both. I wish you the very, very best. Thank you, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. Thank you.